Okay, well, I have a couple things to say. I don't know who was up at 6am on Sunday, but you need sleep. Uh, most of you are not subscribed, which is a bit, of, a bit, a bit sad. Most of, my most of my viewers recently are nowhere near my age range, probably because they're like business owners who do like detailing. Uh, anyway, yeah, that, that last video got a lot more views than I thought it would. Me going over my equipment and what I use to detail cars and other vehicles, not that I've done any other vehicles. Some of which were there. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, let's just have a look at some of the comments on that video. This sounds weird, but your voice is very calming. You should do an ASMR video. I shall not be doing that. But a lot of them were very nice comments. We got, um, good maintenance video. I've got the same cordless pressure washer and it's fab. Saves me time instead of getting the cartridge set up. I feel like I'd rather a cartridge set up or a pressure washer in some kind of way. Uh, just so I don't have to keep refilling the buckets and everything. I, uh, something did come today, which will help me with, we're out with that. So we'll also open that in a few moments. I have a Fiesta, but the Corsa is a decent car, especially so for new drivers. Yeah, I feel like I might get a Corsa when it's my first car. Big fans up from me, young man. Well, hey, subscribe, keep at it, watch and learn from others more experienced and the time you'll make a living. Well, hey. Do you have a DA machine polisher yet? Oh dear. Okay, well. I will not be purchasing one anytime soon. <laughs> I appreciate that you actually buy some half decent products to use rather than rubbish that takes the paint off cars. What well, I don't know what you're buying that takes the paint off cars, especially seeing as the clear coat is on top of the paint. When I was younger, I'd use dish soap, not knowing that it was one of the worst things for your car. Now, it's actually not. Some detailers do use dish soap, but only if they want to remove the waxes and protectants off of the car if they're going to put a new one on, uh, such as like water beading waxes and polishes and whatnot. And good job from Mehmet Iden. Thank you for that, Mehmet. Let's have a look at the analytics for this video. Average view duration, not very good, but you know, views are views. It was almost a 10 minute video and I feel like that does help you out a little bit because obviously the longer the video is going to be, the longer watch time you're going to get. Let's open this box. Uh, what this is, is like, it holds water. So if I run out of water in the buckets, like near the end of a car detail, I can use this to fill the bucket back up or at least a little bit. Uh, so we're going to open this now. Okay, we have uh, a camera over here so we can see what we're doing. The product isn't as big as this box. So I don't know why they put it in such a big box, but yeah, or I don't think it is. So we're just going to kind of carve away at the cellar tape we love and look at that i don't know the capacity of this i think it's like a liter or a couple few liters no instructions or anything oh, okay that's bigger than i thought it would be that's a lot better than i thought it would be 10 liters so when was, since when was this 10 liters hang on how do i open this <laughs> so i'll put some, pop some water in this uh and i'll take it to my detailing bookings and if i run out of water in the buckets i can use this to fill up one of the buckets and just you know keep washing the car to deflate it you put it on that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I got this for like eight pound ish, seven to eight pound. Anyway, as I said today, we're going to go into the shed and take a look at, uh, you know, the Ashley car, Ashley's car washing inventory. So let's go. Okay, so we're now in the shed where um, I was going to count how many supplies they have, but it's, it's somewhere over ten. So we have layers on the top. We just got like bags, and we got other layers. So there's general surprise, which you saw on the B-roll wash mitts and towels, and shampoo and snow foam. On general supplies, we just got stuff that doesn't really have category big enough to be on its own shelf such as carpet and stain remover we do that on cars where they don't have floor mats or like carpet mats we've also got applicator pads these ones are used but they are reusable i've got some ones that haven't been used uh now someone i did see a comment on the last video someone said why didn't you show what you did to take away the spots on the paintwork i did well i did show it i said but i don't know the name of it um, as it is in German. I don't know what it's called, but I think it's called brake cleaner or something like that. General brushes, this one's for the vacuum, uh, but I also just use it to dust stuff off carpets, uh, which I did until I got this, which is a drill. So I'll, I'll walk you through how a drill comes into detailing in a few short minutes. But I don't really use this as often anymore, seeing as I have detailing brushes and, you know, but it, it does come in handy sometimes. Hose reel, whatever it's called. This is obviously for the pressure washer. It has a filter. So any like leaves or rocks that have found their way into the water somehow, they won't come through the, they won't go through the hose and get stuck or potentially come through the water and bang on the paint, which will potentially damage it, won't it? And this is a quick connect. It goes straight onto the pressure washer. Now, this is what the drill connects to. These are called drill brushes. So, let's just open it up. So you connect them to your drill, and what that does, it loosens all the dirt that's embedded in a car carpet. We just open the drill box here. Now, obviously the drill came with all the bits and bobs that I don't really need. So, standard drill. It's charging a bit, actually. Now, this also has a quick connect, which I didn't know when I got it, because we got this from a car boot sale. 
So you connect it to there. And that rotates and that will loosen all the dirt that's in a carpet. Another good use for these is if you're doing like carpet cleaning, you've got product in there. I can't really get out a bigger one. But there's just bigger versions of this and it will agitate the product in the carpet. Now I don't normally keep batteries for appliances over here, I only keep the appliances here just, you know, for safety and things like that. It's a very low end pressure washer, but it gets the job done. So it just slides on like that. It is charged, isn't it? Yeah. So the way it works, quick connect onto the pressure washer by the hose reel. That's not properly on, but you get what I mean. Connect it to that and water will run through the hose through here. Uh, now I've used two pet hair brushes, but this one's always going to be the best one. A lot of detailers have this exact same one. It's just very, it's not over complicated because all, all the pet brushes, all the pet hair brushes modernly have like a big like fancy handle and they overdo it a lot. But this is just one that gathers it up on the surface and you can either heave it up or you can pick it off. Now this, is, this originally was for like toiletries, like uh, toothbrushes, shampoo, stuff like that. And what we've got here, we've got a butter knife. I don't know why there's another knife in there, but the butter knife is just the open compartments that we have struggle with, obviously carefully. At the end of the pressure washer there, and this is a duster, you can hear it. No, well I can't, so you definitely can't. Applicator pads, as I said, I've got four in here and I've got only there, but four over there too. So you connect that to the end of the end of the end of it. Um, and yeah, this is a zero degree, so it's a straight, it's a straight line one. And you can get ones that are like pan, which obviously are, are less likely to damage the clear coat on your paint. Detailing brushes, now I have a code for these. Now on all the detailing brushes I have, I always put a letter on them. So it's either going to be T, C, or D? Yeah. So D stands for dusting, T is for tyres, and C is just for general cleaning. For example, if you're using an APC, you want to rub it into tyres, or no, not the tyres, if you want to rub it into like the steering wheel. Tyres, these are only for tyres and they do not touch the rest of the car. It's just common sense. You're not going to want to use a detailing brush that you used on a tyre on a steering wheel. Dusting, just dusting off, you know, parts of the interior of the car, as well with a vacuum. Now this is like, uh, on, on, on Amazon they called it like a real leather chamois. Uh, they're terrible, don't use them. But yeah, I haven't used this for weeks and weeks because it's just not very good. You want to get a drying towel that's more high quality, such as this. What these are, oh, you, I can't really show you on this one. Oh, these don't actually have them, but some drying towels have like hook ends to kind of really entrap the water and take it off the surface as safely and easily as possible. You want a decently sized one. Now it's not the best one. I will be getting and I will be getting a different one soon, hopefully. Now uh, you can't have enough of these. These are just these are wash mitts. Uh, they're what you do your hand washing with. This one connects to a pole, which is up here. Some wash mitts you put around your hand. Some people prefer not to, and they just do it like that. This is the vacuum, so I won't be able to turn it on now. But it opens up, so you can empty it out like that. However, it is a small nightmare to get it back together. <laughs> and this is the reel for it, so you connect one end to it, and then the other end. It's kind of like writing, and it takes all the dust and everything off. Now, I've got a lot of sprays, just general sprays. This one is Dash and Trim Cleaner, rejuvenates all interior trim. Interior trim? I thought the trim was the outside bit. Well, it's just, it, it works best on plastic. This one's off, so I can press it anyway. Uh, it's by Halfords. It simply just does the job. So, obviously, it's a little bit... It's eye irritation, very dangerous to eyes. Just do not get it in your eyes. Uh, and it can be skin irritating. I've got quite dry hands from the times where I didn't wear gloves while detailing, if you can see that. But from now on, I do wear gloves just to protect, just to protect my skin. General window and glass cleaner. Everyone needs this if they're doing cars. It's best to have one that is not ammonia based because it can leave haze on your, it can leave haze that you can't buff off. It's best to get one made by a car detailing company such as Meguiar's. Uh, total wax, things like that. Now I need, I need another one of these. Actually, I might, I might subscribe to get them delivered on Amazon. Uh, you spray it onto your tires or your alloys. I keep saying tires. You spray it onto your cars. Spray it onto the alloys of your vehicle. So it says spray on, and after a while, it, the dirt will turn red, and that means that it's deep cleaned of all the dirt that it can. And then you rinse it off. Some people put it on, wait a few minutes, and then put a snow foam or another tire cleaner on there. And they go in with a detailing brush and that you know it'll put on a good probably good job obviously with every with every different product in this category there's going to be different instructions so if you're going to get one make sure you follow the instructions properly i feel like everyone should have uh just a general spray bottle preferably one that can do a mist like that like i'm just going to block that from going on the camera equipment <laughs> uh and i suppose it can be good if you have the measurements on it 
but it's not too it's not too bad especially if you're just cleaning almost forgot to mention buckets this one's a fold out one which is great for mobile detailing it takes up less space especially since i don't have a vehicle it's a lot lighter what you do is you just fold it out like that so you know you fill it up and when you're done just cup it's quite durable for what it is the only thing is the plastic on the bottom if you put it on concrete sometimes can get a little bit worn out so if you're next to grass detailing next to grass put it on the grass instead i would say other than that it's very durable does the job also there's a hanging bit here but something that's also quite good is putting a detailing brush in there for example if you're doing tire alloys which general tires you put your tire brush in there it does a lot of good now everyone needs a snow foam cannon you've got your measurements on the side on this one which i don't i didn't really follow uh, i made the mistake of just putting it all in there just for convenience but you actually shouldn't because a lot of snow foams can you know they you, you should shake it before use as well which i haven't been doing if i shake the bottle it's not it's too full up to kind of mix in as well uh, plus a lot of snow foams work best with warm water um it gets them more foamy and more you know just overall better it's called simon it i've got a little one got a little bit left in this one two and one shampoo and car snow foam i'm definitely going to switch to either the pns or demon foam one i got the snow foam for like what three pound with club card which is crazy off tesco and obviously you're going to need a very good uh this is actually oh this is wax too wash and wax shampoo so this has actually got wax on it as well how wax works you got the layers of your paint so you got the car body panel you got uh, i can't remember what it's called and then you got your base coat which is the color and on top of the colour, you've got the thickest uh, layer, which is called the clear coat, and that protects the car from damaging the paint too much or getting too many scratches on the paint. Clear coat scratches are very easy to fix, but we'll cover that in another video. Wax is just another level that is on top of the clear coat. You know, it can do like water repelling, water beading, things like that. There's multiple different waxes you can get for multiple different purposes. Most of them are quite good. Most car shampoos are quite good. Obviously, just stay clear of the two cheap ones that's, that are quite Sometimes you can just tell that they're a bit dodgy. This flies on the wall. I also have a pressure washer handle for when I do get pressure washer. Most handles aren't too bad. It's got an emergency, well, it's not an emergency. You've got a safety stop there. So if you're working around kids and they're gonna wanna pick it up and just play with it and that. Uh, this this snow fan bottle didn't come with it. I just put it on there for now. Uh, I prefer a short handle one because it's a lot safer to use and it won't eventually bend the uh, the end of it i can't really explain it and that's pretty much it we've got all our equipment here i will have to reorganize it after doing this video as you can see we've got general supplies wash mitts and towels shampoos and snow foam we just got other generals general supplies here i forgot that i forgot how many shells I actually had so I printed that one less than i needed uh we keep all the sprays here and we've got our other supplies here okay hello uh it's the end of the video i i'm currently editing it or well i'm currently Putting the footage from the camera onto the computer to then edit it and I realised I didn't record an outro. So, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Again, thank you for the comments of the last video. Let's hopefully get them on this video. Uh, and goodbye.